This is New Metal Monday. Theme song? New theme song? I should make a theme song. That'd be fun. What up, chat? First band in, we have Element. Called, the song is called Lost in the Search Party. Sheesh, let's go. We're going to get lost in this one. Uh, these guys have stuff on all their streaming platforms. Get it up there if you like what you see here today. Uh, metal cover of a pop song, A Little Girl Gone by... I don't know who that is, but they got that coming out next month. An EP that's dropping uh, October 10th-ish. Stay tuned to that. See what's up. And they got some live shows coming through. So if you like what you see, go show them some love. Go hit them up on their social media. See what they got in the song. See what they do. What it is. What it do. Big China. It's kind of a cool sound, actually. No, bring me ribs. Okay. That sounds good. It's only got 61 views. Twilight breakdown. Ooh. Sound the alarms. Good production involved with that. I liked it. I like the little noises in there. Sirens are pretty cool as well. Great start. This is a great start to the stream. Uh, I quite enjoyed it. I mean, really small as well. They have like almost, uh, they have over just over 400 uh, subscribers on YouTube, 1,100 monthly listeners. I like the screams. I thought it was good. A little bit of variety in there as well. Got some flow going in. I love the like China noise in there. It kind of threw me off because it's not what I'm used to like hearing, but I thought that was pretty cool just to kind of hear that. <laughs> like it was very uh, different from uh, everything else that's kind of out there. So definitely kudos on that. kind of making that a little bit different, but uh, yeah, they got some stuff coming up, some live shows coming through as well uh, on the Pacific Northwest side of the U S uh, in 2024. So definitely check them out. And uh, and next EP is expected to drop October 10th. So we show them some love. Go get that one in your playlist. Go follow them on social medias and see what's up. Let's go. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. We got Friendly Jack. Is this a, is this what you wanted? I don't know. We'll see when we uh, take a listen to this one. 
Uh, they have an upcoming release coming out on uh, May 24th as well called Change Me. And uh, they don't have any shows or anything, but definitely go follow their social medias and stuff. Go say what's up. See what's going on with them. And uh, in case they do start playing some shows, let's see. They have 60,000 monthly listeners as well, which is crazy. Uh, this YouTube channel only has 470. So, wow. Okay. They've been doing some things. Let's see what they do. Is this only a minute long? Two minutes. Two minutes. This better go hard. I see you, Jack. Ah, I was waiting for it. I'm a voice screaming loud. What I became, the white noise. Yeah, I don't know what show this is. Make your butt that feels like a cage. Trapped in that endless cycle. Page after page. Big kick. I feel like the kick could just come down a touch. It could be just for this part, though. So it's like a while she sleeps guitar riffy in there. Like the flow of the vocals. This quote. What could be better? This is really cool. A little short for sure. I feel like it could have been stretched out just a little bit longer. Just for the extra, like, maybe heavier chunk breakdown on there. But I thought it was cool. It had some nice flow. But yeah, very short. When I see like two minutes, I have to expect like all gas, no breaks of like just discussing breakdowns. But uh, it didn't really have much of a breakdown. A little bit on the chunkier side on the end, but it's pretty neat. Production could just be, or sorry, mix could be just a little bit tweaked for my liking at least. Uh, I heard like the China just kind of going off on one side. I felt like it just needed to be filled out just a little bit more in some form. I don't know if it was just like it needed like some uh, guitars during that kind of stuff or not, but uh, the bass I thought was a little too loud and could be just turned down a little bit. Vocals just maybe up a little tiny bit, but other than that, fuck for what they're doing. Hell yeah. I thought it was really good. Good shit on these guys. So yeah, no shows or anything at the time, uh, but they do have a new song coming out May 24th. So make sure you go check that out in a couple days and uh, see what they're all about. Let's go. That's cool. All right, let's go. What do we got? Outcast Complex. This came out two weeks ago. Only 353 views? Okay. I feel like we've checked out this band before as well. Uh, but make sure you check out uh, all their songs from Level 2 that just released and uh, their new single that's coming out in June. June 7th to be exact. So go ahead up their follow. Go ahead up their social medias. Tell them what's up. Let them know down in the comments. See what they got. That's about uh, four and a half minutes long. Let's go. See what they do. See what they do. You've been good, zombie. How have you been? Flapping sample. Keep me in my oh, like a stranger's strangers thing shirt. What is that job? Are we getting a new season of that? Chain of love. We last through more. Next year? Oh. Not too sure about this. Not big on vocals. Just a different vibe. Bring back 
background in there? Oh, it's supposed to be live on TikTok, and I didn't go live. <laughs> Let me fix that. All right, let's go. What a result, what an incentive, beginning or the ending. Give us the ending. Take on anything. See you guys go heavy. You know, I wasn't too fond of the vocals on that vocal style. It's just different for me. Um, and I'm not the biggest fan on that. It's just a different vibe. Like, it's just, I mean, there, there's like a lot of metal bands out there where I just don't like the cleans. And it's just, ah, it's not for me. But, I mean, if you like them, hey, great. I think it was kind of cool for that. Um, it did have me a little bored-ish. Uh, during like the first half of it until it started like picking up and stuff. And I was trying to pick out some things that were kind of uh, a little bit ear catching for me, but Hey, it's not a bad song for sure. Uh, definitely go check it out. Maybe they got another, or sorry, they do have another one coming out June 7th and uh, go check that shit out. Let's go up right there. Let's go. All right. See what these guys got. I've never heard of this band before dead in another dimension with their song parasite. I think Parasite is one of those songs that is just overused as like a song name. Parasite. I think I, I, you're not a metalcore band unless you have a song called Parasite. Let's just say that. Or what? Gravity. <laughs> uh, band started in 2019 as a solo project. Uh, these guys are from Powell, uh, Wyoming. No idea where that is. Uh, we've got uh, we've got a single sprinkled out throughout the rest of 2024. No shows or anything, so go check them out. Go see what they got lined up. If you guys like it, only 227 monthly listeners. Let's see what they do. Drummer, just 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 drumming. Ashton's gonna start yelling because he's not moving. <laughs> Expecting these kind of puzzles. I don't know yet. Let me, let, 
let, let, let those clean stay with me for a minute. SpongeBob vibes. I can kind of see that. Yeah, let the fuss. Send me a DM and I'll get you some more info on that shit. Yeah, it definitely has some sort of like punk rock vibe, especially the vocals. Oh, the screams. Pick it up, pick it up. I like the bass line now, that was fucking rippy. Oh, got her in there? Of course, isn't bad. It's got a good melody to it. I feel like it needs a scream on the end of the course, though. I feel like, you know, it just needs to, like... He's got a little bit through it. I think it could tie it up but just a little bit better. Breakdown time. Give me something heavy. Yeah, a little silver scene to it. Yeah, let's go. What the hell is even that? Where did this come from? Ah, those harmonics. Okay, I fuck with this. Okay, I got things to say. <laughs> the whole song, like, what? I wasn't too sure, but the breakdown was fucking fire. Where the fuck was that the whole time? Okay. I mean this in the nicest, like, friendliest way when I say this, but it's like, it's like someone wanted to play some, like, punk rocky kind of, like, opener, you know, maybe some, like, Nirvana-y kind of, like, grungy style thing, and, like, someone in the band is like, I need a fucking deathcore breakdown or something. Like, there's two different genres that are in this band of, like, what they're influenced by. <laughs> they absolutely crushed that breakdown and i absolutely loved it the screams came in way better as well i don't know what happened but it's like even throughout the song i was like okay some of the screams were okay and like I, maybe it just didn't match up quite with the clean vocals but damn honestly i think like the heaviness to that was definitely the route to go on there i, I wasn't thinking we were actually gonna get like a breakdown i thought it was gonna be like a a slower kind of riff down like ding 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 with a single kick kind of thing and yeah, they delivered on that one, on that breakdown, for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm kind of curious to see what else they got. If they do have some heavier stuff. Uh, but the, hey, they got some things going on. Go check them out. Let's go. That was fun. Let's go. This is... I'm going to drown the whole world. Oh, uh, there's a lot of stuff to read on here, so I'm going to kind of pick and choose uh, what this is. But this is uh, Camaria with their song Portal, a uh, symphonic death metal band from uh, Lebaton, or Lebanon. 
Um, these guys have already played some big European festivals as well. Uh, play with some big names like Amorphous. Don't know who that is. Catatonia. Don't know who that is. Behemoth. I've heard of. Swallowed in the Sun. Don't know. Uh, Merith. Don't know. Moonspell. Don't know. <laughs> Decapitated. It sounds familiar, but I don't think I know that one. But anyway, these guys have uh, some cool things coming out. It's span how many uh, monthly subscribers do they have on this uh, thing. Uh, they got about 1,700 monthly listeners on Spotify. They have some, uh, sorry, this song, Portal, is actually dedicated to their founder, ex uh, frontman who had passed away two years ago. Very sorry for your guys' loss. I'm sure this one's definitely going to be a little bit more of, uh, you know, uh, an emotional one. Uh, the man wearing the cape represents him nodding or nodding that we used to. Sorry, that we used his actual guitar in the video for this chapter. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Yeah, this should be uh, pretty, uh, pretty emotional for sure. Uh, we're currently working on our fifth album. Okay, so they got lots of stuff going on. So yeah, go check them out, guys. If you like what we see here today, go see what's up. See what they do. Uh, you actually got the song yesterday. Okay, that's cool. Let's get it. Let's see what they do. <laughs> What's up, TikTok? I fucking see you. Yeah, symphonic death metal. I don't know what I'm going to think about this. I'm not super into that genre. long intro oh it's like a five and a half minute song This isn't even the longest song yet today. Oh, it's probably fucking uh, tripped. Isn't his like seven minutes or something? I think I remember hearing something like that. Love the blood that I did, Ronald. Yeah, thanks so much, man. Welcome to the stream, guys. What's up? What an intro. Symphonic death metal bear, that pyro. Oh, I like that little rusty thing there. Even the little leads are little solo leads. It's kind of cool with the riffs there. I feel like a good riffy Meshuga E breakdown coming in here. That did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did feel like it. No. I like the keys too. It 
It's our moment. Love these like film shots too. The smoke and the light just perfectly making that cinematic. <laughs> the piano. That was cool. Very different. I know a lot of you guys know, like, this isn't my style of music to kind of listen to, but uh, I can definitely respect it. There's a lot of really cool things. I'm wondering what uh, guitar they were kind of using for that uh, to represent uh, uh, their, uh, sorry, their old uh, front man that passed away, unfortunately, um, which I think it was like that little tr like triangly. The head was like very distinctive in that. So I think that probably was it. But I love the concept and everything behind it. I love like the legacy that they're, you know, fulfilling to uh, to have and make uh, their friend over there like very happy. And, uh, you know, that other that other side of the world. So, uh, again, sorry for your loss, guys. Um, but, yeah, the music and stuff like that. I thought it was cool. Good riffs in that. There's some really cool parts that were like they weren't really repeaty. I was trying to figure out like, you know, the courses, the verses and stuff like that. I feel like it's just had a really good journey to, along the way and different vibes. So there wasn't anything I was like, kind of like repeating. Cause I wanted that one breakdown. Of, like, dun, 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 dun. like it was almost like an all that remains kind of thing. Um, and they kind of did a different riffy kind of breakdown, thing, whatever you want to call it in another spot too, but it was a different like turnaround on it. So it was cool. It was really neat. Um, vocals weren't bad. Not my typical go-to for that kind of stuff, but I mean, very, very well done. Um, guitar moments, the video and stuff, and everything was good. Hell yeah, that's good stuff. Definitely just different for me. I'm not, I, I don't usually listen to that stuff, so it's kind of hard for me to like, kind of go in on it. I mean, I like the piano and stuff. I thought it was cool, cool moments that kind of like stood out to me like that. I can definitely respect that a lot. Hell yeah, keep that shit up, fellas. Keep it going. <laughs> All right, let's go. We got Lozilla coming in hot with a moonwalker. Are we doing some Michael Jackson shit over here? Are we going to fucking moonwalk on out of here? Okay, this guy is actually a solo bassist. Moonwalker is his first single debut. And I uh, would like to mention that there's no guitar as well. Okay, this should be very interesting. <laughs> let's see what this one's all about. Curious. Curious about this one. Oh! The Polyphia Bass Band. Fucking groovy. Even the little sense behind it is cool. It's like Polypia, Rippery vibes. I don't know what it is. It's cool though. Oh, 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 oh. 
to throw a missed opportunity in this one. This is fucking sick. No. Oh. Oh. Listeners on Spotify, what the fuck? The song has 73,000 views in two weeks on fucking YouTube. Wow. Fucking slap in the bass. <laughs> Shit. That was cool. That was cool. Good, good stuff. Even the production on there, I thought it was really cool too. Um, yeah, lots of neat things. I do like the vocals on there. Nice and subtly kind of like I'm trying to was kind of like trying to pick on like what it kind of sounded like, but I like how it's just I can't, to be honest. I wanted to say more like, I don't know, like the used -y or the used, not used -y, uh the used are like from first to last kind of vibe, like that emo -y kind of screamo vibe thing. But damn, it had some like uh, unprocessed vibes for sure. I love the, like the, the little palm meets things. Very, very cool. Nice finger dabbing groovy all the way through that breakdown was dope. I love that little, like deeper kind of like voice that came in and just like slayed it. That was fun. The bends on the, the bass. You don't hear that in metal music for sure. So that was cool. Good stuff. Ba -ba 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 Slapping the bass for days. Uh, we've already listened to Winter by uh, Siesta, blah, blah, blah. Uh, honestly, that's not their best song on that album. <laughs> Everyone says it's their the best song or song of the year or whatever. I thought it was their weakest song, to be honest. <laughs> it was a cool song. Don't get me wrong, but I wasn't like super into it as much as everybody else was. But it was a good uh, EP, though. That was really fun. Let day all together. Let's go. All right. What do we got next, Shad? Sorry. Right. Uh, what do we got? We got no life. What do you guys got for us? Uh, obnoxious. Let's go. Uh, these guys got a tour coming up May, June across New Zealand. Check it out. Go see what they're doing. This came out four days ago. 18,000 views. Let's go. We've checked these guys out before. <laughs> Death Empress is good. Yeah, that was a good one. A little 808 in there too, that's cool. I just noticed my vocals are down quite a bit. Are we good now? Can you hear me better on that chat? No one said anything about it yet. Oh yeah, it's got Frankie from Mira. I didn't even see that. Twenty there? I don't think I'll be here. Oh my god, he's being so obnoxious. I got back that day. That gives me some uh, alcohol vibes. Oh, 
Well, we got lit on Sunday. Lit in McTitty. Let's go. It's a holiday here for us. Fuck it. Frankie? I like the higher screams he's got in that. Let's go. Make us a stupid bitch. Let's get it. Ah, oh, you serious? Uh, I thought we were getting a breakdown there. <laughs> I was hyping it up into a fucking breakdown, man. Um, I thought the song was decent. Honestly, it just sounded the same all the way through. It didn't really have the changes that I want. The beat was just kind of all the same. So I was kind of like lost. And that's why I thought we were getting a breakdown there. Because I'm like, okay, we need something here. Um, but I mean, I, I love, uh, Amir's vocals. I actually just saw him live this week, uh, with Alpha Wolf. And that was like the whole fucking controversy of this fucking, uh, security guard that punched someone in the face. One of the fans, <laughs> I made a video about that. Um, but yeah, like I saw Amir live and they were so good live. I was actually very impressed. Like they sound exactly like how they sound on, uh, on record and stuff. So yeah, it was good. I liked it. It was good and vibey. I like the mix and everything. I just wanted something just a little bit more and just a little bit more turny, you know, like just I needed some uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like different tempo changes. I just needed something else. It just felt like I was like in a constant like dun 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 like I don't know what it was, uh, but I like the little stuff part there. I mean, it's very a mirror to, to kind of have those kind of call outs, stupid fucking bitch type deal and you know, you can go hard for sure. And I thought it just from there, it was just going to be a wind up into a, a nasty breakdown. But other than that, it's still a good listen. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Amir was great live. I was I, I was pretty stoked to <laughs> these band names. <laughs> Fuck. There's been a few of them where I'm like, there's another one here, too, that we're going to be checking out. It's like Heartless Human Harvest. Yeah. And uh, there was another one, too. I can't remember what it was, but it was like. Fuck, some of these fucking band names. This one, too. Bleed Someone Dry. I think there was another one before this one as well. Dead in Another Dimension. Like, shoosh. And scary, child. Let's go. This is Bleed Someone Dry. Taste of Myself. Uh, this band actually originated in 2007 uh, as like a thrash metal band in Pistoia. I don't know where that is, but let's check out what they got. This came out 10 days ago. Uh, let's see what they do. No, there's no points. That, we're just checking out new bands that have emailed me. TikTok. But what's up? We've reacted to Dark Divine. It's up on my YouTube. Love this chunk down here. Dun, 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 dun. Love this pattern. Oh. Nice scream, too. Oh. 
Drift City, man. Population breakdowns. out dry for these guys i'm excited to see what else i got man they came from a fucking thrash metal band this is definitely not thrash metal at all um decent man lots of cool riffs i love the screams mix and everything was pretty much perfect there's i wanted the vocals just to shine through just a little bit more but he did have some shiny moments of some like lows uh some of the high screams too uh, a little bit like the fast kind of rappy like spots very very like fat like a fast part of it wasn't like you know 10 bars out. Bram, thank you so much for the sub, my friend. Good morning. What's up? Um, But yeah, it was good. I really enjoyed that one a lot. I would definitely go uh, check out some more from these guys. I'm glad they're uh, getting out there, playing some good riffy breakdowns. The little harmonics of boom, 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 boom. And kind of gave me some like nothing more vibes just because of that one beat from their one song. But I say it all the time. I reference it way too much. But hell yeah, that was good. Everything else was fantastic. Good breakdown. That floatingness at the beginning. Uh, I'm like, we're getting launched. And they delivered. Hell yeah, good shit. Go give them some follows. Go drop them on your playlist. Get X here. We got four, oh, Fortress Frontiers. They just dropped a new song three days ago. We've done lots of reactions on these guys. Stay with the God on this one. I'm pumped. They already got new music. They've dropped like two EPs in like a year. This is like the Canadian Alpha Wolf, I call him. Yeah, 
Yeah, you did, Manda. Got some good pickup beats here. Stream live on AK? This is what? Some more. Give me that big French energy. Oh, yeah. I don't know what he's saying, but. He's going, yeah. my head <laughs> good thing i hit my fucking thing these things are gonna get fucking mangled now there we go it was all fucking gas during the whole song i'm like there better be a good fucking bluff breakdown on these they did it they did it they did it where was the first blood what first blood that i fucking missed what are you talking about i don't know where the other one was i must have missed it <laughs> The first song? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah, good stuff. These guys are definitely doing some cool things. This is Frontiers. We've done lots of fucking content on them. Lots of reactions. Always coming in hot from uh, the, the French-Canadian side of the world. They're pretty much like my neighbors, you know what I mean? So definitely go show them some love. Frontiers, they got some good bangers. They even got a song with uh, Lockie on it from Alpha Wolf. And uh, yeah, they go pretty hard. Go check them out. Go check them out. All right, what do we got next? We got Heartless Human Harvest. Their song Armageddon. These guys are from Germany. They have a spring winter tour that you guys need to check out on their channels and stuff like that. Go see what they're up to. Came out three days ago. 
332 uh, subscribers here. And then they also got about 577 monthly listeners. Lots of small bands today. Let's go. Why? That's very colorful. Riffy, Riffy. There's some death metal in here. Oh, bro, you're in the wrong fucking channel. <laughs> I don't really do a lot of death metal. Yes, that ending was fantastic. Quite enjoyed that ending. Oh yeah, yeah, I missed Blefford too. They, that could have been a nasty bluff off that for sure. And then the end part too is just fucking fantastic. I know I want to start doing those Miss Blepertunities for like some of these smaller bands as well. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Just another way to like kind of help get these uh, bands out and just, you know, for me to work on my fucking vocals even more and just have some fun with it. Um, but yeah, that, that would have been a cool one for sure. That breakdown was just fucking tight, nice and heavy. I love his fucking long scream there. Oh yeah, that'd be fucking sick. Um, good stuff. Yeah, these guys are from Germany. These guys are from Germany, and they got a spring winter tour coming up. Definitely go check them out and uh, say what's up to them in the comment section. Hell yeah, that's good. Get that one on your playlist so you enjoyed it. Uh, I think there's a couple things that I could say about it. Like it's there were some longer parts on there that felt like overdone. I feel like this song 
I mean, even if they cut the other things out, it probably would have been like a two and a half minute song or something like that. There's just like, instead of like four bars kind of thing, or even eight bars, I felt like it was more of like, and like another, like what, like 16 bars kind of thing going out, like in some of these courses. And it like, it felt a little long in that way. I don't know what it was, um, but it was still fun. I love the junt work in it. It almost was like a, every time I die vibe in a way, I don't know what it is. Like every time I die with some of the guitar work, but then like almost like some all that remains vibes in a way. I don't know how to explain it, but it was really good. I really did like that. Guitar leads were sick. We couldn't get more into the layers and of course it doesn't make you feel like, yeah. I think it, it could just use a little bit of tweaking, but other than that, like it's a good song. I thought it was really cool. Hell yeah. Am I from Germany? No, I am not. I'm from Canada. Have you heard the new pale face? Uh the one we get the shot? No, I have not. I think we're checking it out later today. As much as I want to make a full video on it. I might have to just check it out today. I, uh, I have no time to do things. <laughs> might check out Boy What as well. I might switch it out for Sable Hill. I don't know. The Sable, yeah, Sable Hill is just a, a little ad time in there. No time. There's no time. And I still have to get all these songs over to my fucking editor and stuff too. So there's lots of work to do. And then we have a party that we're going to later. And then get the rest of our stuff ready for camping for tomorrow. There's no time, no time in this world. Let's go. All right, chat. We have a band here from Vietnam. Uh, this is their second song. They came out until uh, they have another one coming out June 14th. And they'll have a final M uh, music video later on for that. So uh, let's see what these guys got. I don't think I've heard this band before. Gaia? I don't know if I'm uh, pronouncing that right, but I think it means Thorn, I believe. Right? I believe. Can't remember what it said in their notes there, but hell yeah. See what they got. See what they do. You want to come to the party? I'll send you the address, man. Never was here, I saw all this family. Never I'll give it more of the four to family. Yeah. Let's go. You don't wish you were from Canada, trust me. That was almost an art bar over there. This goes. Love the energy too. He's got like very tomorrow vibes on the screens. Dum 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 dum. -da -da -da. Oh yeah, Crystal, that reaction stuff on YouTube. You definitely gotta go watch it. There we go. I see you guys. I see you. One more? Uh oh. Uh oh. Punch it. Let's go. 
Metallica. Like a hunter from Hunt the Dinosaur vibe. Or a pawn burning body. Maybe it's like a pawn burning body. It kind of sounds like Danny a little bit on the vocals too. Dude, this was good. That breakdown hit so hard. Great vibes. I love the energy these guys have as well. Man, there's not a lot of bands out uh, we hear from uh, that side of the world for sure that come through uh, North America. So, yeah, these guys are from Vietnam, and I absolutely love this. I would love to check out more. It sounds like they got some more for us to check out coming in June. Definitely say what's up to them in the comments. I think that was a fantastic song for them. Um, great energy, great vocals, love everything about it. That was good. I, I don't have anything wrong to say about that. I mean, there wasn't a bluff, but <laughs> it's good. That was good shit. Fuck. All right, chat. We have Malara. Malora? Malora. Malara. Uh, the song Empty. Uh, these guys are from New York, New Jersey. It's got Taylor Barber on it. Let's see what they do. Like the reps. Two step. Get your feet moving. I feel like 
they didn't need this last part of the course on here, to be honest. They could have ended. <laughs> this part's cool. That was really good. Honestly, I love the breakdown. It was a lot of fun. Taylor with those little uh, demon noises as well. A little uh, what's that? fucking <laughs> thing. <laughs> um, I wanted just a little bit more of that breakdown, but it was still fun. It was super fun. I love hearing no noises from Taylor. I mean, that's I feel like why everybody wants this guy on like a track for sure. Definitely needed a blip, but it was good. Honestly, I love that course. That course was so good. It kind of gave me like some weird like uh, like story of the year kind of vibes for some reason. I don't know. It just had a really good metalcore voice uh, vocals for that, like those cleans. Um, but all through it, man, I was like all gas, fucking hit hard. Really good noise or really good song for sure. Hell yeah. Go show these guys some some love. Go get that one on your playlist. That was good. Malora. Melorian. <laughs> I fully enjoy that. Yeah, I fully enjoy that one as well, too. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream, too, by the way. I think we're checking out uh, the song. That shit up, Chaney, already? Fucking no one is ready for this one? I mean, seven minutes long. I there's not. It's not very often I like a seven-minute song, man. Not very often I like a seven-minute song. <laughs> <laughs> this better go hard, but this is, uh, this is tripped with... Avas Ava Avo sign Ava sign. Am I saying that right? Probably not. And Xenobomb. <laughs> Fucking these names, man. Words is hard. <laughs> Infernum. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> this is featuring Echo and Endure My World. There's a lot of people on this one. Oh, like Sin. Okay, I got you. Yeah, words is hard here. I can't English at all, man. It's much gooder, you know. <laughs> Let's get it. see what you guys got. This is a seven minute fucking song. Let's see what you do. Let's see what you do. We've checked out a song by uh, uh, Tripped as well, and it went viral all over TikTok and that. So I'm hoping we get something cool like that again. Let's go. We got some AI. What do you do, Avison? This one's better. There better be some black dubstep breakdowns. I kind of want to check this out on Spotify. Uh-oh. 
This is cool. I like little noises in here. I feel it's a little muddy though. I'm trying to hear everything, but. Go flow part. Yeah. More blasts. Needs more blasts. Says what you want, this is what you want, this is what you want. Fuck yeah, bud. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Uh oh. Let's go, let's see what you got in the Zen. Uh oh. Where's your Spotify? I need to check your Spotify quick. Was this one it? Yeah, this is it. Uh, Spotify. Hold on, I just want to check before I like make a full review on this here. I just want to see how this sounds oh. on uh, on Spotify quick here. I just felt it was very muddy for YouTube, so I wonder if it sounds better on here. It probably does. 8 bluffs? Oh, uh, way more clear. Yeah, 
That sounds way better on Spotify. Yeah, yeah, YouTube, it's, it's sometimes it's fuckery. And sometimes, like, when people, like, upload, like, a music video and stuff like that, what I've found, it's, like, it sounds different. And there's, like, settings and stuff. You got to make it, like, obviously make everything pop the same way. And that, like, kind of, like, put that in uh, consideration, which is, it's, uh, yeah. But other than that, no, I liked it. it. It was really cool. I liked the flow on it. A little long for me, but it was a lot of fun with all the bless and stuff. Different little styles in there. And uh, like with everything you uh, you guys had on there, I had a hard time mixing and mastering. Yeah, I feel like just some of the stuff on there, it's just nitpicking stuff for me. It's like I like I can't remember the last one you guys put out, but um, this one was a lot of fun for sure. It's just uh, it just sounded a little bit muddy for me to like truly fully uh, kind of get that full experience. But I should have been put in a fresh audio when I did the final. But <laughs> yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. Um, but I thought it was cool. I thought you guys had some really cool things in there, like the production. Uh, the video was neat. And uh, the bless, man. I, I loved it. I love how you guys just kind of wound that up. And uh, you gave what you asked for. Blah. I love how it was fucking sick, man. I like it. <laughs> Thank you for dropping by with those. Those are a lot of fun. Seven minutes, though. Very long. Very long. But uh, I, I see what's up, man. I see what's up for sure. Thank you for that, guys. Appreciate it. Let's go. What do we got next? Uh, Blackfire, what's up, man? How are you today? I don't think there was one missed blood opportunity or missed blood opportunity on them. this one from uh, my homies over here at uh, Scene Daddy. This is uh, Devitalize Flesh Pit. Let's go. Devile, v devitalized fucking words, man. Let's see what they got on us. Yeah, science is good, man. Two years ago, oh, shit. Let's see if we can get another one popped off, bro. Let's go. 1200 Molly listeners. You know that noise, chat. You know that noise. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Fuck. That was fun. That was good. I like that. I love the little Tom Barber vibes on there, too. I love how their genre says hardcore. I don't think I would consider this hardcore, to be honest. But that was good. Uh, maybe we have checked out this band before. Tom Barber and Chelsea Grin. Yeah, I think I remember this band a little bit. Oh, yeah, let's go. That's good shit. Am I going to any concerts this year? Dude, I've been to like... I don't even know how many I've been to already this year. I think well, I think I'm at like what I had three just like this week. Let's just say that. <laughs> um, yeah, that was good. I enjoyed that. I like the vibes on there. Good sound, good mix, everything. Um, love the energy. Love the video that they made too. The homemade videos like that just feel like are a lot of fun sometimes. And you know, just. I don't know. I, I like the the effort put into videos like that instead of things that are just like more like studio and stuff. I'm like, I like it when people get creative on that. But big breakdowns for sure. Big energy. Hell yeah. That's good. There's not, I, I liked everything about that one. Let's go. Devitalize. Devitalized. Let's get it. Let's get it. Um, How good is Sable Hills? Do I really want to do Sable Hills right now? I, I kind of want to skip one. I might I might just do Boy What today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Channy. We might have to do uh, the oh. other one after. And then we'll do Get the Shot Last. I wanted to check this one out, though, for sure. I know everyone's been asking me for it. Two days, got 172 views. Let's go. Um, everything else this guy's putting out. Fantastic. I've been loving it. Did a podcast with him as well. Solid dude. Had some great conversations. Asked some cool questions that you guys definitely need to go check out. And it's cool because I I've seen like a little bit of a clip and it sounds like Sandy's in this and I mentioned it too I don't I'm not taking credit for it don't get me wrong but I I mentioned I'm like man you need to like start adding like all these other characters in it and everything too so like I, I said like Sandy like bring Sandy in to do like a part I think it'd be really neat and yeah so this is gonna be cool the how long is this one it's about uh, almost three minutes cool see what this one does I'm stoked one studio session later. there. Let's go.
<laughs> ah, that was really cool, man. I really enjoyed it. That breakdown was neat. I feel like this guy's definitely doing some really cool things with his breakdowns lately. Uh, the last one that we checked out was more like a punky rock kind of situation. I guess like the My Chemical kind of vibe. Uh, but this one's neat. I don't know what to kind of put this transition into, but I love how like, you know, trans or what was it transitioning into Plan Z and like went into like that Plan Z breakdown thing. That was kind of cool for sure. I love the digital stuff to it. I loved all that. Um, I think if there was anything, the course on there, I think like I heard some screams in behind the Sandy part as well, but I wish it was like more of the plankton screams. I think that was just kind of throwing me off, even though they were going back and forth. I did like it. I think it was cool. I think that I'm just being a little bit more nitpicky on that kind of thing. But the progression through the song, I thought was fantastic. Just had some really good flow and uh you know the transitions like it started off just nice and clean and then it just progressed along the way and then into new uh, different things in this uh song so he does a really good job on this i thought it was really good i think uh like he needs to continue doing this for sure and it's a lot of fun it's all it's just chill to listen to and i i'm i'm stoked for this fucking guy so hell yeah get that one on your playlist if you haven't already go tell him what's up in the comments Oh, it's a blast. I mean, missable opportunity on that one. Maybe I got to do that one, too. <laughs> I got to start doing more of these, especially on like stuff like this. It's a, it'd be a lot of fun. Um, but hell yeah, guys. Thank you so much for uh, checking that one out with me. That was good. That was good. <clears throat> Song of the year for me so far. What one's that? Oh, this one here. Is that what you're saying? This one is. Um, That's cool. Uh, thanks. I heard great American Ghost, Envisions, Dark Divine, and so many bands like coming out with new music. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. This is Get the Shot. We got a new song with Pale Face on it. Let's go. No fuck time wasted. A five minute song. Last song of the stream chat. Hype this shit up. I've been getting asked to do this a lot. I've had people say it's song of the year. It's got my homie Zelly on this one. Get the Shot as well. I believe they're from Montreal, if I'm not mistaken. Really cool, and I believe they just signed to a rising empire. So lots of cool things going on for these guys. We've heard about these guys, what, maybe two years ago? I think Chaney's introduced me to them uh, from our streams and shit. So here we motherfucking go. Oh. <laughs> we barking already, chat. He's down to barking. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, 
Wash your mouth with a shotgun. That's fucked. Wow. I mean, they did not disappoint on this one at all. That went hard as fuck. Yeah, man. Get the shots really cool. I I, I totally forgot he had like a, a Brian Garris vocal in that and just the whiny kind of high pitch frequency, knock loose vocals. The guy's very talented, man. And I'm glad that they got some recognition and they're signed by someone like a rising. Cause I feel like they're going to do some really good things with them. Uh, they're like, yeah, we found those guys like a couple years ago and I, we've always loved them. Very, very good. Just beat down like crazy, mad, mad fucking shit going on. I thought that was really good. Um, breakdown after breakdown. I mean, they kept the hype as well. The two step spots were a lot of fun. Uh, the chance on the courses. I mean, even some of these call lines, wash your mouth with a shotgun. Like what? We had some arf arfs in there. No blocks, but damn, that went hard. And just, it felt like pale face as well, just because of like, I mean, Zelly going off on that yeah, da, 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 kind of stuff, but like even the breakdowns, the chunk on there, dun, dun, dun. I mean, a lot of bands do that, but like I like Paleface, and those are the bands that I listen to that do those stuff. I know bands do it, but like that's just what it reminds me of. So it just had an overall really good vibe on them. Honestly, Get the Shot has done some really cool things. It's been a minute since I've heard anything from them, really. I think it's probably been about a year. Has it been a year since they've really dropped anything? Um, I have no idea, but super pumped on them for being on a rising empire. I like working with this record label as well and, uh, featuring some of their bands on here, but this is just an overall top fucking song to be, uh, reacting to first and foremost and, uh, seeing what they're doing. It's been crazy. It's been two years since they released something. Oh shit. I didn't think it was that long. I think we checked out the whole album, I think too. And it's been a minute since we've, uh, I've even listened to it. So maybe I'll have to go back on that or something. But hell yeah, so glad we got to check this one out, guys. If you don't know who Get the Shot is, definitely go check them out. And I'm sure a lot of you already know Paleface. We've done tons of reactions on them. We might have one or two Get the Shot reactions up on YouTube. 
Not entirely sure, but definitely Pale Face, especially their, uh, it's not their newest song. They don't have a newest song, but I've done like some, uh, some video and stuff for them live and stuff. And it was fun. Good shit. Very good band live. I was very impressed with them. Energy was there the whole entire time, getting the band or the, the, the crowd going all the time. Just overall a sick time. You know, time is the as the essence here. <laughs> um, you don't know about, yeah, you need to go dig down on them. They're cool. They're like, they're like pale face mixed with knock loose, I would think. I don't know how else to put them, to be honest, until I go uh, check them out again. Um, but damn, good shit. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today on our Twitch stream. I really do appreciate it. And uh, check out all the other bands that we do from these. Uh, these are our new metal Mondays. I know we're doing these on Sunday. Uh, today I'm heading out and going camping, so uh, we're going to be doing uh, some stuff next week, but I'm sure we'll be back for, I think, Thursday. Uh, someone came in and said, uh, new Electric Cowboy is coming out, so I will be doing some, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, I didn't realize I didn't have music on. I'll do uh, the new Electric Cowboy song probably when we get back. I don't know what kind of video I'm going to make for that. Um, but then we'll be back next Friday for album reviews. So hell yeah. Thank you guys so much for chiming in with us and, uh, hanging out with on these.